What's up, guys? This is the Old Ninja Warrior, AVA as a superhero hat, bringing you another episode of the Weapon Logs here on the Modern Ninja Channel. This time, we're going over a review of a new sword I got. This one comes from Blade Addicts or MegaKnife.com. I'll leave links down in the description for you guys. But we have our Genji Red Sword. So this is honestly one of the coolest and most unique looking swords I own right now. But it, and it has a couple cool features and a couple drawbacks. So let's go into what you to expect if you were to buy this sword. So the way this sword works, if you have it on your hip, the weight will be down. And so if the weight is down, it doesn't open. It's, it resists falling out. So if I hold it upside down, it won't like, you know, slide out like that. In order to open it, you have to pull it up. So it, it's not really a, uh, like it won't move, but it will adjust out of the locking system and then you can pull it out nice and easily. But in order to put it in, push it down and then push it in smoothly so it locks into that system. And then just pull it out of the lock system and just like that, and that's how you open it. If you don't do it like that, you will let it, it'll sit there, just <laughs> it won't move. And so that is one of my favorite features of this sword. But let's look at the whole, blade here. This is what we're going to be looking at right here. I'll get a close up. And the really cool thing about this design is this reticle is, is like clear plastic or glass and so it really looks nice in person. Like I don't know if you can really tell in camera but it's really cool in person when you see it. But this sword, one of the, draw the biggest drawbacks is it is not a full tang sword so you're not going to be wanting to swing this around super fast or uh, hit any objects with it that are too hard because you will break it um the blade seems to stop right around somewhere here and so it, that's again once again it's not full tang it's not gonna hang up to a beating but as a decoration or a prop or a uh, a cosplay sword this is perfect for any Genji cosplayer or um tech urban ninja out there <laughs> cosplaying too so that's ideally what this sword is meant for on show or for a cosplay. This is not meant for combat or anything like that. This sword also does not come sharpened. As you can see, I can, I can hit myself and it doesn't really do anything. Obviously, any thin piece of metal swung fast enough will stab you and will cut you. But this, I can, I can grab it and hold it by its blade. It's not sharp and it is not pointy. It is like, you know, Oh, I got it. There we go. It's not pointy. I can hold it, the tip on my hand. It's not pointy either. So this is, again, excellent for you cosplayers out there that can't have sharp or pointy items as a cosplay prop. And so this is a good standard. Once again, built for cosplayers, not fighters. Just keep that in mind. But it is still an awesome tour that I am glad to have in my arsenal. I guess now I gotta make a Genji cosplay. Or at least wear a Genji hat. Maybe just a Genji hat works. But with all that said, this is an awesome sword. Definitely advise checking it out if you are interested in cosplaying or having just dope swords to put and hang up in your room or in your living room or living space or wherever you want to hang it up. Because that's what I'm probably going to do until I eventually make a Genji cosplay. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. But if you guys like this video and want to see more videos like it, want to see more swords and other tech like it, definitely leave a comment down below. Let me know what you want to do. Give me some links. Give me some ideas of what you guys want me to to use for these videos give me some weapons you want me to review uh but if you like them definitely hit the like button and maybe even share it around so more people could see this cool stuff and i can get more cool things to review so with all that said don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more my name is dj moore this is the modern ninja and i'm out